this is lady come here this is not for me to go off on people i know people are not used to me acting like this but this is the thing i've been going through this journey not to lie not to spread gossip i'm trying to get over some things that i've been slave to i went back home because i needed to face the reason why i hated my skin you want to know why i talk about skin 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 because i grew up in Terre Haute, indiana i'm sabrina michelle spencer grew up here and people have always made fun of my skin from the time i was little i grew up in indianapolis i was born and raised in indianapolis but because my mother didn't want me to do like my friends did she wanted a better life for me she brought me back home to where she was only to come back home and still be called a nigger so I'm sorry if I don't seem to be nice or anything, but I am tired of trying to talk straight, straighten my hair and make myself look a certain way and put down my own people and people, ladybug, come back here. That's not safe. Sit down, honey. Every place, ladybug, that is not a place to run. That is not safe. Sit down. Jesus, lady. That's not safe. It's not, everything is not a playing place. Ladybug, sit down, please. Lady, 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 sit, sit, sit. Jesus, you're hard headed. Lay down. Ladybug, ladybug. I don't know what to do with you because you, you about the most hard headedest one year old I've ever met. Sit down. This is not safe. Sit down. Anyway. I've been feeling like I was Jesus lady. I can't get you to stop. Sit down. I came back home to face the demons that I was given. I grew up here. You see this? How can I be bougie? I grew up in the country. You know what I'm saying? How can I be ghetto and be rude? I grew up in Indianapolis, born in Indianapolis, raised in Terre Haute. Who am I to be bougie? Who am I to put anybody down? But I've been put down for years because I'm related to the people that preach. I don't consider them family anymore because they've treated me worse than white people. And then my mother sitting there saying that I lie. What did I lie about? Because the thing about it is you can't stand me because unfortunately I remind you of my dad. I can't do anything about that. I'm sorry that I'm such a disappointment. But guess what? I'm not white. I have never been white. My father is dark skin. You're light skin. I was never gonna be like my cousins. I was never gonna be thin. I was never gonna be skinny. You don't understand the struggles I went through. I grew up here and people treated me like I wasn't shit. I went to middle school. People made fun of the way my, the color of my gums, the color of my skin. The way my teeth were formed, why I got lips, but they're not big like black people. Then once I got to Terre Haute North, you guys making fun of me. And instead of answering to my name as Sabrina, want to call me Shanene, Shaniqua, or Medea. That's what y'all do. Ladybug, that's not a safe place. Sit still. Sit. I'm not running away. I'm just walking. Ladybug, that's not safe. My mother told me to walk my dog, and that's what I did. So I'm walking her so she can get tired, so she can stop jumping around. You see how she looking? Anyway, I just get tired of trying to act like I'm supposed to be so prim and proper. I'm a black person. I'm a biracial black person. I'm half Jamaican and Native American. I am black and Native American. I am a, I am a person. My family's history is all through Lost Creek. I'm Cherokee. I can't sit there and put somebody down and I look like this. Do you see me? So this is not to talk about anybody. This was to help me get with me. So my mom got mad at me because I went to the cultural center because I saw her friend that don't really like the family. Guess what? I went there not for what she thought. I went there to clear the air because it was her nephew that got me in trouble. I got uh, beaten because of what he told my mother. He told his mother and her mother told my mother. So my mother just assumed and she beat the stew out of me. How you gonna beat the stew out of me and I'm in high school. I got a whipping for something I didn't even need to do. I was already 18. 
but that's another story this is not for me to lie yes my mouth is unruly yes I curse yes I grew up in church it's not a, it's not right it's disrespectful but guess what I still have to be Sabrina Michelle Spencer this is who I am yes I made a mistake with people yes I made a mistake and let somebody who I thought was Tony Braxton take money from me yes but she's not the real Tony Braxton you want to know why because you got a lot of friends that's why I've been saying what I'm saying you have to watch your fans your fans love you so much that they're taking your identity that's all I'm saying that's the reason why her video is the first video not to put her down not to make fun of her but because some of her fans are doing stuff that is illegal you cannot take somebody's identity that's illegal you can go to jail for that and that's why I'm trying to make this video not to be disrespectful but I'm saying y'all need to check y'all's fan groups on Instagram I had to stop somebody because they were using Tamar Braxton's face so they can get money to pay for their mother's gallbladder, gallbladder surgery that's bad you can't use somebody else's name to pay for your bills. You use your name to pay for your bills. Ladybug, that is not a place to go run. Come here. That's not safe. I got on here to get some relief. I got tired of lying to myself. I thought she was the real person. I knew I should have known better. But because I couldn't tell the difference, because y'all don't pay attention to y'all fans, y'all need to pay attention. Because you got people that are so fans that they're stealing y'all's identity right in front of your nose. And you're just sitting there, oh, changing your hair color, doing all this other stuff. They're trying to use your name to pay bills. Pay attention. That's why I got on here. I wasn't getting on here to bash anybody, to put nobody down. I got on here because y'all need to pay attention to what's going on. It happened to me multiple times. Because I thought somebody was who they were, because I wasn't paying attention, because half the time I was too busy at work, or I just wasn't, or I was drinking too much, I ended up having a problem where I had to file identity fraud because it was a person from overseas. That's the reason why when Jada Cross made that statement talking about how do you know they're Nigerian, you need to mind your business and just stay in a, in a, in a person's place. You don't know what I've been through. I, you, you don't know what I've gone through. So the reason why I hate Tara Holt so much is because these people are ridiculous. Black people and white people. You want to know racism? Come to my home city. It's the only city where both black and white will treat you like you ain't shit. So when I saw Nigerian um, immigrants getting whipped, it looked just like Terre Haute because they act like that. If you're not like how they are, if you're not playing sports, if you're not half black, if you're not white, if you're not, you know, light skin with the long hair, if you're dark skin with no hair, or if you are dark skin with long hair, they make a differential against people that just have regular coarse 4C hair. And that's wrong. You don't know how bad and embarrassing that was to get on campus and I'm trying to figure out how to transfer my documentation and you got Pentecostal children that I grew up with looking at black people like who are they those are black people why are you looking at them like that but see when you grow up in a neighborhood that's predominantly white that's what you go through on another episode of SMS news channel and I'll be back with more